Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on... Legacy e Evolution Shrapnel. Yes, Shrapnel. Not Sharp Shot, not Scrapnel, Shrapnel. They actually got this guy's name back. And I'm just so happy that this guy's finally called Shrapnel again. Because, not, I'm not going to lie, I think Scrapnel was kind of a weird name for this guy. So, yeah. So, uh, looking at the box for this guy. Of course, we got the standard uh, Legacy Evolution uh, packaging. So we've got the standard lag of a window. We've got Shrapnel in his uh, bug mode. Here we can see that he is actually called Shrapnel. Not uh, Shrapnel, uh, not Scrapnel anymore, thankfully. This side we've got a close-up of his face. Got him just running with his gun. Oh, look, he's going to fire at someone. I don't know. The side with the standard um, a mural, which this side seems to be the, the most used for some reason. I don't know. It's not like uh, year one where the Autobots had uh, one side and the Decepticons had the other side. I don't know. The back, we've got Shrapnel in both modes. We've got the Evo Fusion gimmick where, well, the bug legs are actually uh, guns in this uh, figure, so they can combine with his main gun. So we'll see that later. And I've got the QR code if you want to scan that. So let's just the box. And looking at the actual uh, figure himself. Well, of course, Shrapnel transforms into a stag beetle, just like how we did in G1. But... Unlike the Power of the Primes version, this is a straight up uh, modernized version of the G1 uh, design, so there's no stylized uh, bug legs, it's just like the G1 version, which, yeah, I quite like how this looks. And of course, this is the second Insecticon to be released in Legacy, I guess third if you count Ransack, but... Of course, if you remember, way back in Wave 1, we got Kickback. So, and now, finally, in Wave 5, we've got Shrapnel. Meaning, I don't know, maybe in, like, who knows, we'll get a uh, Bombshell. Maybe in the third uh, part of Legacy. But, oh. Uh, uh, looking at uh, Shrapnel's uh, details here, of course we got the standard uh, pincers, and they do look to be blaster compatible. I'll try that in a, in a few minutes. We've got the translucent cockpit section, which homages the G1 toy, where you could fit a diacoin driver. We've got some detailing, which homages the stickers on the G1 toy. Got ports so where you can some, uh, plug in some weapons. Got the Decepticon insignia right there. Got the bug legs. And these ones are actually guns, which is a pretty cool uh, bit of weapon storage. Just repurposing some of the bug legs. The underneath, which is quite purple. So yeah, not really much to say there. So let's look at the accessory, which... Well, two of them, of course, are already on the figure. We'll look at them later, but... We also get this gun. Of course, based on the G1 Toys gun. And that can just go on top, like so. So you have that going on. And for blast effect compatibility, well, of course I I talked about the pincers probably being blast effect compatible. 
Well, they actually are. So if you want, the pincers can actually be guns. And of course we got this. So you can just plug a uh, bus effect into the gun here. And I suppose if, if you want, you could plug in some uh, blast effects into the bug leg if, if you really wanted to. So you yeah, that going on. So yeah. Uh, there you have that. So, overall, I really like this bug mode. Of course, it looks like how he does in the G1 series in the toy. I suppose if he's, if you have, like, Power of the Prime uh, Scramble, you can uh, have him as the uh, clone thing that the Insecticons have. And this is going to be really excited for what Bombshell's going to be like. Because, well, yeah, the Insecticons are proving to be uh, really uh, cool-looking. In fact, I'm, I'm liking this guy more than Kickback. Because Kickback was just a straight up more a more poseable version of his G1 toy. Whereas this, I mean, you can sort of say the same here, but they, they're doing something new. Because the bug legs are, of course, guns. Whereas Kickback was just a more poseable version of the, of the G1 toy with some uh, clear plastic swords. Because that was the thing with Legacy back in Wave 1. And in fact, speaking of kickback, here he is. So you can see how the Incepticons are uh, shaping up so far. I'm not going to show Ransack because they're probably going to do like a chop shop retool uh, from this, like a buzz levy thing. Who knows? Because of course of Hasbro, they don't want to leave teams unfinished, so yeah. Pretty fair to assume that they'll do a chop shop retool uh, from this guy in the future. But yeah, here's kickback so we can see how the main in Insecticons are shaping up so far. And yeah, these guys look pretty good together. Of course, kickback has the clear plastic wings. or well, the clear plastic swords on the wings, because that's what they were doing back then. But still, these guys do look pretty good together. And with Bombshell, they look even cooler. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for the uh, insect mode. So, uh, getting on to the transformation. So, to start off, we're just going to push in the front bug legs here. Take what's going to be the rubber arms and tab them from the sides here. Just get them out. Might as well just get the hands out as well. And tap the legs, extend them out. Put the legs, turn the waist around. Close up the legs. Move the feet up. Get the arms down. And believe it or not, we're, we're almost done. Open up the pincers. Come in here and open these parts up. It's going to reveal his face. And what I like to do is just spin these parts around so they're out of the way. And here we have Shrapnel in robot mode. And yeah, not as intricate as uh, Prowl's transformation was, but it's, it's, it's simple and sometimes simple transformations are... Just as much fun as the more intricate ones, because, like, that's a really, uh, nice and, uh, easy transformation. 
So, yeah, if you struggle with prowess transformation, then this is way more manageable. Yeah, and the resulting robot mode is, well, it's shrapnel. Like, of course, that uh, one guy from the cartoon who always repeated the last word of his sentences. So, yeah. Now, just having a 360. Of course, he has these uh, things on his uh, arms, which, of course, you can't take them off and they can be uh, guns. Or, you can be underslung weapons if you want them to. Or, you can just take them off entirely. And these can just be actual guns, if you want them to. So, yeah, you've got options here. But seeing these off to the side and looking at the head... Of course, we've got uh, Shrapnel's uh, cartoon-inspired head. We've got the red visor here. Got the big pincers, which make up a silhouette. Although, uh, on the good kickback, I sort of doubt we're gonna get like a toy accurate uh, head for this guy. Cause I don't, think, I don't think this head's on a ball joint like kickbacks was. Cause yeah, if you remember with a uh, kickback, he came with the cartoon accurate head, but in the Buzz Levy four pack, you got the option of a a toy accurate head, so you can go with either a cartoon head or a toy accurate head. Depending on what your preference was. I don't think they're going to do that with a uh, shrapnel and bombshell though. Even though that would be cool. But, but yeah, I don't think they're going to do that because... Yeah, I don't think this has in a ball joint, unfortunately. But yeah, for this guy's accessories... Of course, we've got the, the main weapon. So you can just... Plug that into his hand, or you can give him the two bug leg guns, either as underslung weapons if you don't want to remove them, or these can be like actual guns. So, you have that going on, which looks really cool. Or, of course, we've got the, the Evo Fusion, which is actually um, plugging this into here, and then this goes into here. So either this can be just a really long gun, or what you're supposed to do is he holds it with both hands. You can actually you know, get this into his, his hands. Because, yeah, this keeps splitting apart. So, yeah, that's the Evo Fusion for this guy. <laughs> I like how the Evo Fusion can go from recreating a toy's original gimmick with a uh, prow and hot shot to just. Combining all the weapons like it's a siege toy. Or even just take the gun and have it as a radio antenna for twin cast. Like, anything goes for this uh, uh, gimmick. And I just think it's hilarious. And don't get me started on uh, Medic's uh, Evo Fusion gimmick that was uh, uh, leaked. <laughs> like, anything goes with this Evo Fusion thing and I freaking love it. It can be... It can go from, like, recre re recreating a uh, toy's original gimmick to this. <laughs> it's just freaking hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> right, yeah, I am not displaying him like this.
And of course, these guns can take blast effects. So we can just plug one into heat. the gun here. These two guns can, have of course, take blast effects. And if you really must, Shrapnel's feet can take blast effects. Although, of course, these are more for like uh, weaponizers or the junkions, like like a uh, crash bar and the like. So yeah. Now for this guy's uh, posability, the head can go side to side. Although, sort of these bits do sort of get in the way of that. But yeah, it can go side to side. The shoulders can move, although, yeah, it's best to sort of move the pincer out of the way for that. You can T-pose. It's got elbows, bicep rotation, and can go in. Waist articulation, because you saw that during the transformation. Legs can kick forward, they can kick back that far. You can do the splits. Got knees about that far. They sort of actually click into place too. Got a uh, fire rotation up to there. If we can uh, go down, so if we want to have him tiptoe, then go ahead. Pivot about to there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the posability. So just giving him his accessories back. If I can find the guns. There we go. And yeah, like the ports are on the backs of his arms. Probably just due to the way that this guy transforms. So these can be on the uh, on the bug mode. So but, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about this guy. So uh complaints. Well, like, the head can be a bit stiff, but that's more of, like, a nitpick. Because, well, I can't really think of that many complaints. Because I actually really like this guy. Like, in fact, I actually, I think I, I, I forgot to show this guy with kickback. So, he I will show my complaints and if I recommend them or not. Because, like, I think this is a much better figure than Kickback, honestly, because, of course, like, Kickback was just a more posable uh, version of his do one toy. Like, I'm not saying Kickback's a bad figure. He's not. Kickback is still a really uh, uh, nice figure. I just prefer Shrapnel over Kickback. But, like, I... Like, the only complaints I can even think of are... The pincers just sort of get in the way if you're trying to pose the shoulders, and even then you can just sort of move them out of the way. I don't know, I'm probably just getting biased because I do love the Incepticons, but yeah, I'm not really thinking of that many uh, complaints. So yeah, like, here he is with a uh, kickback. Of course, there's no uh, clear weapons because they face it out after uh, I think uh, wave uh, three or four. So uh, yeah. So do you recommend this figure? Absolutely. Like this is a really good figure, especially if you're a fan of the Insecticons. And I definitely hope that they do a chop shop down the line because this is a really good uh, figure. Like, this is definitely getting me hyped for Bombshell. So, yeah. So, this has been my review on uh, Legacy Evolution Shrapnel. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.